Hey guys, it's Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We are in video number three of five in our Hey Chick, Hey Birthday Chick stamp -a stack I do have an optional class packet. It's available while supplies last. KitchenTableStamper.com slash shop. Get a quarter package of the um, Celebration Flowers and Fields paper. Quarter package of just jade and color ribbon. 77 pieces of the metallic pearls. It's about a third of a package. Nine card kits with all of your basic die cuttings done for you. I don't die cut the stuff with the Hey Chick bundle or the Hey Birthday Chick bundle. I assume that you got one of those or the other. Or this card kit is perfectly perfect for you to use with whatever stamp set you have. The Darling Donkeys would be darling with this stamp set or with this stamp of stack. You get all the cardstock you need to do that die cutting with the Hey Chick bundle. So here's our Hey Chick bundle, the feature, the star of the show. Hey Chick Return from Celebration. It's a seven piece cling stamp set. You can bundle it together if you didn't get it during Celebration with the Chick dies. If you already have Hey Chick, pick up the Hey Chick dies. They're so much fun. Since we're on the dies, let me show you. We're gonna make some little corn. Do you see how cute that is? And we're gonna cut a sign and a fence. We're going to mix and match our dies just a little bit. The sign, the corn, comes from these chick dies, but that cute little fence comes from Hey Birthday Chick. So if you've seen video number one and two, you've seen Hey Birthday Chick in use. It's really an adorable bundle. I love that there's lots of little corn cobs and husks in this set. So you can do lots of little corn ears for your stalks at one time. You grab my Hey Birthday Chick set here. I'm going to grab this little wooden fence. So cute how it leaves the wood grain when it cuts. All right. In video number one, we cut our designer series paper from the flower and fields according to the Wonder Recipe. Wonder Recipe is a one-sheet wonder. It is um, a cutting diagram for a 6 by 6 paper. You can, of course, do more than one 6 by 6 paper like we did for the stamp -a stack And we're going to just take the pieces, the relevant pieces that we need for this project. So for these two cards in our stamp -a stack we're going to take the 3 by 4 pieces and the two by four pieces that remain and we're getting there look we're using our pieces so the template is principle and it helps you to keep your pieces as you're going along and stamping your stack and then in video number one i also embossed all my card bases with a little um, subtle texture here so let's grab our card bases for this cutie and you'll know those because if you've got the kit, they have the die cutting done for you. You get your card base. I don't do any of the embossing or stamping for you. That's you know optional if you want to do it. You can absolutely stamp your background too if you didn't want to emboss. If you're following along and you didn't get the kit, you'll need to cut your layers here. Basic black layer is Tasteful Labels die. It's this largest one. Got two of those. And our Whisper White or Basic White, whatever you're using these days. I'm using Basic White in these kits now, so your kits will have Basic White because we have Basic White envelopes. This is one and seven eighths inch stitched circle cut using the stitch shape dies. All right, let's go ahead and adhere our designer series paper and our layers. Don't wanna lose those little dies, they're so cute. All right. The stamp -a stack using the Wonder Recipe makes nine cards. Of course, you can pick and choose if you just wanted to do a couple using the measurements on the project sheet on the blog. We got a lot of glue in here. We're going to mix and match. So one four by three and one two by four. And then we can also, at this point, go ahead and glue all of our labels. So I'm going to do a bunch of glue in with a multi-purpose liquid glue.
All right, we've got nearly all of our layers glued down here, both copies of our card. Slide to the side. We need to do some die cutting and some stamping. So in your kit, you have a half a sheet of pear pizzazz and a quarter sheet of so saffron. You've also got two half sheets of whisper white to do your stamping on. So grab those card stocks. We're going to get this <laughs> mop top chicken and stamp twice, one for each card using memento tuxedo black, um, a basic white. Cute, cute. Oh, I forgot one more thing from the kit. Also, a quarter sheet of crumb cake cardstock. Let's let our little moppy top chicken dry for a second while we do our die cutting. Cut a little bit smaller pieces here so we can use this. in our mini Stampin' Cotton Emboss machine. All right, let's just do a bit of cutting here. I'm going to cut For each of our little cards, we're going to do one corn stalk and three corn husks. Let me give that a little crank. Look at that. Awesome. You don't even have to pick them out. Nothing. Let's go ahead and prepare for our second card. Run it through again. Now this is a stamp -a stack and there are more corn on one of our upcoming designs, corn stalks. So I am actually going to just keep on going and I'm going to cut the corn stalks for our next designs too. Okay, next up, I'm gonna throw a little so saffron and a few corn cobs. And let's see here. I wonder if I could fit these. Let's go the corn cobs off the end there. And let's do a fence and a sign. We need three corn cobs, a fence, and a sign for each card. Let's get those guys cranked. All right, so we've got our die cut pieces, our chickens. Let's get them colored. Brought in Mango Melody, Mint Macron, Color Lifter, and Crumb Cake. Super simple little chicken here. We're going to do a little bit of shadow with Mint Macron, the light one, a little bit on the feathers, just to make our chicken have some shape. Then we'll take the Color Lifter and blend that back to white. Isn't he funny? We'll do his tail and his mop top with crumb cake. <laughs> he just makes me laugh. There's his little mop top. Just bring those two shades together. 
<laughs> and then for his legs, we're going to go with the light mango melody. That's it in color two, and we'll get him die cut. Okay, guys, we're back with our little mop top chicken. Let's go ahead and cut out using the Hey Chick dies. Just pop this little guy right through. Get the push. He had a crank. I love this little machine. Learn more about using it every day. It's different from the big guy. Nice and compact though. All right, we want to stamp our greeting on our sign, Memento, Tuxedo Black, and have a happy day from the Hey Chick stamp set also. Stamp that right on our sign. Oh, is that cute? And then I'm going to add just a drop of glue on the end of my fence post here, or on the end of my sign post, and then we're going to pop that right on the fence. Just make that one piece. Now everybody needs some dimensionals. So I'm gonna add some dimensionals on the back of my mop top chicken the back of my fence and sign and get some of my corn ready okay our chickens are ready and our signs are ready and our fences are ready let's get some corn ready all right, we've got three little corn husks and three little corn cobs. I'm just gonna dab a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue at the base of the corn cob. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the little husk to the cob. And then each of the little corn, once they're assembled, gets a half a dimensional on the back. Horns are ready, our card bases are ready, our chickens are ready. All right, let's go ahead and put right across the center of our little, um, we want our have a happy day to be highlighted in the circle there. Can add our little chicken. Oh, almost forgot my corn stalk. Let's get the multi purpose liquid glue and just a little bit will do. If you've got some of the adhesive sheets, put adhesive, put an adhesive sheet on the back of your pair of pizzazz paper before you cut. That'll give you a nice self-adhesive corn. And there's our corn stock and a couple of corn. We love these corn. It's what completely sold me on the Hey Chick dies and what sold me on circling back to the Hey Chick stamp set. Just can't get over how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? All right, let's get those pieces on our second copy and then we'll embellish. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh my, just love it. And let's go back into my kit here, grab my ribbon and pearls and then tie a little bow, one for each card. I love the pop of just jade and the texture of the ribbon. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna add a little bow kind of down by the end of the corn stalks. Love that. 
and some pearls. Well, we used gold last time. Let's use silver this time. Oh, this would be really cute. A little nail on the signpost there. Isn't that cute? Looks like this the sign is nailed onto the post. Love it. Good. 77 pieces. Do what you like. There we go. Have a happy day. Isn't that cute? Alright, that's card number two or number three in the series. If you're just joining us, let me show you. There's our sample and our newest one. Next up in our Stampa stack, we've got Hey Chick. I love this adorable layout. Isn't that great? I think this one might be my favorite card. And it's wondrous if he only makes one of them. And then last in the stack, the Stampa stack, are these Hey Chick. All right. So two more videos in the series. If you've got any questions, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. You can find the Principal Wonder Recipe there, too, to see if there are still kits available for the Stampa Stack. Check out kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. And to, stop, to shop Stampin' Up! 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching.